Hi everyone, uh, Dr. Ariel Ostad, cosmetic surgeon and cosmetic dermatologist. One of the uh, workhorse treatments that we perform in the practice uh, is fat transfer. Fat transfer is actually utilizing uh, your own body fat, what we call autologous fat, uh, and basically placing it in areas where there's diminished fat. Uh, one of the hallmarks of aging is where we actually lose fat in our face. So basically we begin to get sunken cheeks, we begin to get jowls, we begin to get laugh lines, we get what we call lower eyelid hollows. And a great way to actually fill those areas is utilizing your own body fat, uh, where basically an area is numb, typically on the lower abdomen or the hips, an adequate amount of fat is harvested, is removed, uh, and is basically purified and is re-injected in those areas. Uh, what's nice about using your own body fat is that there's generally an unlimited source of it, depending on how much a patient needs. And basically, therefore, we can take enough and just re-inject into the face. Typically, about anywhere from 60 to 70% of the fat survives. The treatment can certainly be repeated if necessary. I've mainly utilized it for aging. I love doing just general fillers with hyaluronic acid. And I find the advantage of hyaluronic acid is that it's a practical way to actually fill in those areas without having to harvest the fat. But for an individual who actually has large amount of hollowness, uh, it becomes practical to utilize your own fat. Fat transfer lasts for many years. There's no issues with any allergies. And it's a simple pr procedure that's performed under local anesthesia. A typical patient is someone who happens to be maybe in their 50s and older who has fair amount of fat loss. Uh, one of the great things about fat is that when you actually harvest the fat, you're not only just removing fat, but you're actually removing what we call fibroblasts or mesenchymal cells. These are actually stem cells. So I found numerous times that when we actually inject the fat into the face, it behaves as stem cells as well. So not only those hollows fill in, but the quality of the skin is dramatically improved because there's what we call a neovascularization or healthy blood vessels that develop so the skin just looks brighter. There's new collagen that forms as a result of these mesenchymal cells or fibroblasts. So just the overall quality of the skin gets better too.